When the United States Air Force unveiled the B-21 Raider to the world, people noticed something strange right away. It looked smaller, simpler, less intimidating than the legendary B-2 Spirit that came before it. For a nation known for building massive, imposing bombers that could cross entire oceans, this new aircraft seemed understated. And that raised a simple but fascinating question. Why is the B-21 smaller? To answer that, we need to understand what the world looks like from 30,000 feet above and how the nature of air warfare has completely changed. The B-2 was born in the Cold War era, a time when the enemy was clear, radar technology was primitive, and the main goal was to carry as many nuclear bombs as possible deep into enemy territory. Back then, size was a symbol of power. The bigger the wingspan, the more fuel, the longer the range, and the heavier the payload. It made sense. The B-2 was a flying fortress designed for an age where brute force and endurance were everything. But war today looks nothing like it did in 1989. The modern battlefield isn't just physical, it's digital, invisible, and unpredictable. Enemy radar systems have become far more advanced. Satellites can see through clouds, and air defense networks can lock onto aircraft the moment they cross a border. In that world, being big isn't an advantage anymore, it's a liability. The Air Force realized something fundamental. The next bomber wouldn't need to be the biggest or the loudest, it would need to be the smartest, much and the hardest to find. That's why the B-21 is smaller. Every inch of its design was shaped with one goal in mind, to disappear. The smaller surface area means less radar reflection. The tighter, more compact frame allows smoother control of heat and exhaust signatures. Even the paint, the materials, and the way the panels fit together are part of a science of invisibility that has taken decades to perfect. In short, the B-21 wasn't designed to impress your eyes. It was designed to trick your radar. But stealth is only part of the story. The real leap forward lies in how the B-21 thinks. This aircraft is built on what engineers call a digital twin. Before the real bomber even flies, a complete virtual copy of it exists inside a computer, a twin that lets the Air Force simulate every radar pulse, every maintenance test, and every flight condition long before the actual aircraft takes off. That means problems can be predicted before they happen, parts can be improved without delay, and performance can evolve continuously. It's not just a stealth bomber, it's a living learning machine. And smaller means smarter in another way too. A smaller bomber can be built faster, serviced easier, and deployed from more locations. The US Air Force doesn't want just a few perfect bombers locked away in hangars. It wants an entire fleet that can move, adapt, and survive. The B-2 Spirit was an incredible aircraft, but it was so expensive and complex that only 21 were ever built. The B-21 changes that. Its modular design means the Air Force can produce dozens, maybe even hundreds, at a fraction of the cost. In future wars, quantity will matter again. Not in the sense of throwing numbers at a problem, but in overwhelming the enemy with invisible, coordinated presence. Because the B-21 isn't meant to fight alone, it's a part of a network, a system where satellites, drones, fighters, and bombers communicate with each other like a single brain. The B-21 can collect information, share it instantly, and make decisions based on real-time battlefield data. This level of connectivity transforms it from a single bomber into a command node, a moving hub of intelligence. In a fight where seconds decide who survives, that's not just an advantage, it's a revolution. There's another reason the B-21 doesn't need to be big. It's built for the wars of tomorrow, not the wars of the past. Future missions may not even need a pilot inside the cockpit. The B-21's onboard systems are already designed to support autonomous flight, meaning that one human operator on the ground could potentially control multiple bombers at once. Smaller size makes this transition easier, reducing weight, simplifying control systems, and improving efficiency. The next generation of warfare might not feature pilots in the sky at all. Machines will take over, silent, precise, and connected. Of course, all of this doesn't come cheap. Each B-21 costs hundreds of millions of dollars. But the U.S. isn't paying for size or materials. It's paying for time. Time to react before being detected. Time to strike before being seen. 
Time to stay alive long enough to win. The smaller, smarter design gives that precious advantage. A few seconds of invisibility that can mean the difference between mission success and total loss. Many people were surprised when they first saw the B-21. It looked too simple. It didn't have the massive wingspan or the bold presence of the B-2, but that simplicity is the point. True stealth isn't dramatic. It's quiet, subtle, effortless. The more ordinary it looks, the harder it is to find. The B-21 doesn't announce its arrival. It's already gone before you even know it's there. The B-21 Raider isn't smaller because America lost ambition. It's smaller because the world changed, the threats changed, the technology changed, and power itself changed. In this new era, dominance isn't measured by how big your aircraft is or how many bombs it can carry. It's measured by how long it can survive unseen. The battlefield has become a place where silence is strength and invisibility is victory. So the next time you see the B-21, remember, it's not built to impress, it's built to outlast. And in a world where everything is visible, the greatest weapon is the one you can't see.